morning. I will demonstrate one example of truss analysis to method of joint. The truss shown in the figure is Warren truss, and I will determine the force in each member, and I will state whether the members are in tension or compression. So you see the height of the truss is 4.5 meter, and the span is 24. We have four panel. It's measuring six meter. So the slope here is three vertical, four horizontal. So we have the hypotenuse of five. So where it came from? So from vertical of 4.5 and horizontal of six. So we have here hypotenuse. So by dividing both vertical and horizontal by 1.5, it will give you four for horizontal and will give you three for vertical. So our hypotenuse is five. So here we have the roller at point E and pen at point A. So usually at pen, we have the vertical reaction that say this is AY and AX here and for roller perpendicular to the surface this is vertical RE so if we get assuming we will have the magnitude of AX so maybe the reaction at point A will be something like this this is RA but since there is no horizontal external force acting on the whole structure, the value of AX will become zero. And this uh, vertical component of reaction will be its main reaction, RA. So by applying the equilibrium equation of moment and force, forces along x-axis and along y-axis we can get the value of reaction so let us start with the summation of moment at point a equals zero so let us make our sign convention convention for counterclockwise moment i will make it positive so therefore 100 multiply by 6 meter plus 125 multiplied by 12 meter plus 50 multiplied by 18 meter. So RE will give you clockwise moment towards point A. So RE multiplied by 24. So by computing the value, it will give us 125 kilonewton. So this is going up. And for RA, summation of force along y-axis is equal to zero. So we have RA plus RE is equals 100 plus 125 plus 50. So, so when since we get the value of RE, RE, RA is equals 100 plus 125 plus 50 minus 125 so this is RA will give us 150 kilonewton going up so we'll start at joint A to get the forces or stresses at AF and AF and AB joint A. So we have the value of RA, this is 150 kN and this is AB and this is AF. Its slope is 3, 4, 5. So we'll assume it compression and we'll assume, I will assume AB as tension so by summing force along y-axis equals zero 
going up positive so I have 150 which is equals 3 fifth of AF so therefore AF is equals 150 multiplied by 5 over 3 is equals 250 kilonewton so since I get the positive result of my computation this is compression so summing up the force along x-axis equals 0 so going to the right is positive so I have a AB so counteracting by the horizontal component of member AF is equals 4 pip so of 250 250 so AB is equals 250 multiply by 4 over 5 equals 200 kilonewton so since I get the positive result of my computation this is tension so my assumption my assumptions are correct okay I will proceed to joint B since I already get the value of AF and AB and also I already determine whether it is compression or tension I can make the correct assumption further okay join B so I have the vertical force of 100 kilonewton then horizontal of PC and horizontal of AB yes ma'am okay join P so I have here the horizontal member of BC and AB so from here at the drawing and BF so I will assume it also to be tension that is BF and I will assume it to be tension BC so I get here the matrix of member and stresses so I can find I, I will readily find if I will so I can readily find the computed stresses so for member AB I get for AB 200 kilonewton this is tension and for AF we have 250 kilonewton compression so assigning AB which is 200 kilonewton that is tension so true summation of force along y axis so BF is obviously 100 kilonewton tension and summation of force along x axis BC is obviously 200 kilonewton tension so for BC and BF we have 200 kilonewton tension and for BF we have 100 kilonewton tension okay so I already get it the BC and for BF I already computed so I will proceed to joint F so I will do the free body diagram of joint F do I L this is FG this is AF which is already computed the value is 250 kilonewton compression so towards the joint and BF is tension having the magnitude of 100 kilonewton so away from the joint and member CF So I will assume that FG is acting as compression. 
and I will assume that CF is acting as tension so this is 100 kilonewton this is member BF point F so summing up the force along Y axis equals 0 this is 3 this is 4 this is 3 this is 4 hypotenuse of 5 so 3 thief going up is positive 3 thief of 250 so minus 100 going down minus 3 thief of cf so that's all four horizontally equating to zero so therefore g of 250 minus 100 is equals g of cf so computing for the value of cf is equals so it will give us 83.33 kilonewton so since i get the positive result of the computation cf is act as tension member so for the value of fg summing up p forces along x-axis equals zero so going to the right all positive so this is tension force for pip of cf which is 83.33 so plus component of AF for PIP of 250. So counteract that by force FG equals FG is equals okay, 266.66. Kilonewton, since it is positive, the assumption is correct. This is compression number. So I have FG, FG. So this is 266.66 kilonewton compression. And I have CF computed as 33. 83.33 kilonewton this is tension okay back to the truss so i already computed it as tension member cf this is compression member fg so by inspecting for a uh, uh, joint g so we have the zero force member here cg a zero force member because when you're summing up the force along vertical, there's no counteracting vertical forces to CG. That's why it is zero force. But for FG, uh, a member GH, since uh, FG is already computed, so we have here for joint G. So this is GH, since FG is compression, so this must be compression also, and this is zero force. So the value of GH is equivalent to the value of FG, which is equals 266.66 kilonewton compression. G H 266.66 kilonewton compression okay put it here the computed value of uh, FG and CF 33.33 kilonewton tension and for FG 266.66 kilonewton compression so by through inspection point G so we have the zero member CG 
because when you counteracting or applying the equilibrium force equilibrium equation of force vertical so there is no counteracting vertical force for CG that's why this is zero force member and for uh, GH since we get uh, already get the value of FG it will counteract for joint G so we have here the value of FG is compression this is a uh, 266.66 compression therefore for GH will obviously equivalent to value of FG which is 266.66 kilonewton compression also so this member is zero force this is zero so I will proceed to joint C for joint C draw the free body diagram of the joint so I get the 125 vertical force and for member CB this is member BC this is already a computed day BC 200 kilonewton this is tension 200 kilonewton as computed then CG is zero then we have the CH which has the slope of 3 this is 4 this is 5 and the other side CF 3 4 5 CF has already is already computed this is 83 tension 83.33 kilonewton so I will assume CH as tension also so I will sum up the force along y axis so CH going up force should be positive so 3 feet of CH plus 3 feet of 83.33 kilonewton should be counteracted by 125 kilonewton going down so the value of CH is equals okay it will give us 125 kilonewton so this is tension because I get the positive result and for the value of CD summation of horizontal forces so going to the right should be positive so CD is equivalent to or plus for feet of CH which is 125 as computed then counteracted by going to the left horizontal force which is BC 200 plus 3 feet or 4 feet of 83.33 therefore CD is equals to okay so it will give us 166.66 kilonewton so I get the positive result this is tension okay I will write it to my matrix CD is 166.66 kilonewton tension and the other CH is 125 kilonewton tension okay the force here is already computed so I will proceed to joint D so for joint D joint D so draw the free body diagram so I have the going down force of 50 kilonewton and the member DE and member CD 
city as computed before is tension which is 166.66 kN and for going up dh so I will assume it tension because obviously it will counteract the 50 kN so therefore from the given equilibrium dh is equals 50 kN tension and summation of force horizontal or x along x axis de is equals 166.66 kN tension so to my matrix de de is 166.66 kN tension and for dh is 50 kN tension so for joint A we already get here we already get the value of dh so one member just left okay joint E this is 125 as computed before kilonewton and this is DE which is tension having the value of 166.66 and this is DH so I will assume it compression to make it equilibrium EH for third feet also opposite three for horizontal five hypotenuse so summation of force along y axis equals zero going up force should be positive so 125 counteract by three pip of EH. EH will be equals 125 times 5 over 3 is equals 28.33 kilonewton. So positive result, therefore, this is compression. Okay, this is 0 force then EH is 208.33 kilonewton compression okay so these are all the answer of the member forces or stresses that acts in each members of the warrant trust